Hey, welcome to the Windows channel and this is a quick update video for today, which is Patch Tuesday, uh, November 8th, 2016. So today we have a certain number of updates depending on your computer. So if you have Windows Vista, Windows 7, Windows 8.1 and Windows 10, you all receive updates today. Uh, it's important to make these updates. There are some critical updates in here. Uh, which um, four critical updates basically that means they are probably already exploited in the wild by bad guys so that's why patch Tuesday or what Microsoft likes to call security Tuesday is important so of course it shows up in your computer as uh, batches of updates so if, if we look at the updates that I've got here and update the security uh, we'll take a look at the update history and here we go. So today we've received, apart from the uh, regular Windows malicious software removal tool update, we've got uh, first of all the uh, cumulative update for Windows 10 1607 and uh, that of course contains a certain number of updates and uh, security updates. We also have a flash player update here for uh, Windows 10 once again, so Flash Player uh, update once again. Uh, we knew that this uh, there was a flaw in Flash Player again. So, you know, it's been updated so many times, Flash Player, in the past uh, months. It's incredible. So what do these updates actually contain on PCs? Well, the critical updates, uh, the critical security problems. There's a cumulative security update for Microsoft Edge in here. Uh, which resolves uh, flaws in Microsoft Edge. Most severe of the flaws could allow remote code execution if a user views a specially crafted web page. So an attacker who successfully exploited uh, vulnerabilities could gain the same user rights as a current user. And that just from viewing a web page with Edge. So Edge has a critical update, uh, a security update here. Security update for Microsoft Windows which uh, as the most severe of the vulnerabilities could allow remote code execution if a locally authenticated attacker runs a specially crafted application. Security update for Microsoft Video Control. Uh, this flaw could allow uh, remote code execution when Microsoft Video Control fails to properly handle objects in memory. So there's kind of a, a flaw in the memory, in the way that it handles the memory here and uh, it, an attacker can successfully exploit the vulnerability and run arbit arbitrary code, which means that they could once again take uh, control. Security update for Microsoft graphics component. This has been every month for the past um, many months, basically. Uh, what do we have in here? Of course, uh, it could allow remote code execution um, when uh, the Windows Animation Manager improperly handles objects in memory. That happens often, you know, problems of uh, handling memory or corrupt memory. So these are the four critical ones that are exploited in the wild. That's why they're critical. Then there's a certain number of important ones. Uh, one for Microsoft Office. So if you have Microsoft Office, you'll have one install. There's a security update for common log file dr system driver, uh, which improperly handles objects in memory. So in a local attack scenario, an attacker could exploit these uh, vulnerabilities by running a specially crafted application to take complete control of the system so it's elevation of privilege, basically, meaning that they can, even if they don't have, you know, admin, administrative rights, they could elevate to administrator using code by exploiting these little flaws. There's a security update for SQL Server, security update for Windows kernel mode drivers, um, security update for uh, Windows authentication method, um, security update for Microsoft Virtual Hard Disk drivers, security update for Windows kernel, there's a security update for Boot Manager, security update, of course, for Adobe Flash. This one is a critical one. Uh, there's another critical one. I haven't seen the other ones. Cumulative update, security update for Internet Explorer. This is also critical for remote code execution. An attacker who successfully exploited the vulnerability could gain the same user rights as the current user uh, by viewing basically just a specially crafted web page. So basically in here we have uh, the flaws that are one, two, uh, three, four, five. There's six 
critical updates basically. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight important updates in here. So uh, all to do with security. Now, if you've installed all of that on your PC, you can actually go and type WinVer for Windows version. And here you will have in the run command. And it will show you that you are now at version 1607, build 14393.447, which is the latest build of Windows. So uh, check it out. The updates are available for today uh, in your PC. And uh, they do fix many, many little flaws in Windows. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe to my channel. You'll be informed when new videos are online. Give us thumbs up. And thank you for watching.